PDA Parts presents the iPod Video Take Apart Directions. Warning, the following directions will avoid your warranty you're performing this repair at your own risk. This video is copyright AX Microsolutions Inc. Using a case opener tool, turn the iPod over. Take the case opener tool and run it along the edge of the unit on both sides. This will free the back of the case from the front of the case. Be careful as there are still three cables connecting the back of the case to the front. The hard drive, lift the hard drive up. There is a connector connecting the ribbon to the motherboard. There's a tab that you can pull up slightly that will release the ribbon cable from the hard drive to the motherboard, and this will allow you to release the hard drive from the unit. There is another ribbon cable that has a connector that you need to pull up slightly. This will release that ribbon and allow you to remove it. The final ribbon has a connector that needs to be lifted up. Once it's lifted up, the final ribbon will be removed and this will allow you to remove the front of the case from the back. If you are replacing the battery, you will just use a case opener tool and the battery will pull up. If you are not replacing the battery, there is no need to follow this step. There are six screws, three on each side, that will need to be removed. They are using a small Phillips screwdriver. Once the six screws are removed, you'll now be able to remove the frame of the iPod front bezel. Sometimes the bezels can be a little tricky to get apart. The scroll wheel does have a small plastic insert in the middle that sometimes will fall out. Just set that aside and you can install that later. The screen is still connected to the motherboard via a ribbon cable. It is a pressed fit connector. You will gently pull the ribbon out of the push fit connector and it will remove the screen. Please be sure to visit us on the web at pdaparts.com.